I'm here with Mr. Lele Lelalu, who's a development entrepreneur. He uh, works in the convergence of climate change, poverty, tourism, food security, and renewable energy. He currently is co-chair of an organization called Innovation for Sustainable Development Center. He's chairman of the Foundation of the Peoples of the South Pacific, which is the oldest and largest nonprofit development network in the Pacific Islands. Uh, and uh, he's working on a new renewable energy related type project that is utilizes deep ocean water. Good morning, Lele. Good morning, Charlie. Thank you. Deep ocean water technology involves the use of water pumped from the depths where it's cool enough, usually about 900 meters, and we pump up the, uh, the cold water through pipes and then we um, move it through to an interface between the air conditioning systems of a hotel or an airport and uh, the cold water doesn't actually touch the the air conditioning water, what it does is the interface chills the water and therefore this is sufficient for the air conditioning systems to run large facilities like hotels, like um, airports and the like. What this does is by using deep ocean water for things like air conditioning, it can save your energy costs by up to and over 90%, which means that um, your costs are going to be reduced enormously because as we know people in the tropics what they want to do they want to go to the tropics be close to the water and the sand and then they want this wonderful warm tropical weather and they want the air conditioning f blasting full behind them with the doors wide open as they enjoy their stay in the tropics so air conditioning is usually the largest single cost for any resorts um, in the tropics so what we're looking at doing is to reduce this huge cost, energy cost, by using deep water air conditioning. In addition to the air conditioning capacity of, of deep ocean water, uh, what we uh, have worked out as well is a system called cold ag, which essentially uses the cold water to enhance the agricultural production of the destination. So what we do is we pass the cold water pipes underneath the ground, underneath the s in the soil, so that the condensation from the pipes feeds and waters the plants from below. You know, in test sites in Hawaii, we've grown cucumbers about yay big <laughs> because of this form of, um, of, of agriculture. So this is uh, deep water agriculture. And then also what we can do is um, we can make water from condensation um, with a different type of facility where again, we use the condensation built up by the pipes to harvest fresh water. We call it um, fresh or cold water farming. So you have here a combination of the deep water air conditioning, cutting your cost, energy costs by, down by 90%, using the same water under the ground for cold ag, as we call it, to increase and enhance the production of food for the resort. And then we also have this uh, water farming. And water farming, as I said, again, essentially involves harvesting and capturing the condensation from the pipes to, uh, to harvest water. Now the thing is that, don't forget that the water we've pumped up from the depths, we still, it's in, still in a pipe, so we haven't actually used anything but the condensation from the water, and then we take, pipe the water down back into the depths where the temperature is even. So that way, we're not using it at all, it's completely renewable, and this is the essence of, of uh, deep ocean water technology. Well, we're looking at a couple of airports in the Caribbean where um, air conditioning costs are huge because people build these huge airports uh, with little attention paid to the cost of air conditioning, these huge, huge airports. And what's happened in, in, in a country in the Caribbean is that um, as the company, the airport manager has reduced the air conditioning, people are getting too hot and too stuffy in the huge airports and they're complaining and they're complaining to the local politicians and things but the company just can't afford to increase their um, any more energy use for air conditioning so we're working with them to use deep ocean water it's right on the on the coast so it's possible for us to go deep to get the water cold enough to use how deep do you have to go it depends uh, we have to get water which is about um, eight degrees 
um, or around about 41 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, this usually means going down in the tropics to a depth of about 900 meters. And we'd like it to be within two to three miles of shore to make it really, these are the optimum conditions. Now, you know, we have a, um, uh, this man called Dick Bailey in, in Bora Bora who runs the Intercontinental there. And he's, he's used that to um, cold water air conditioning to, um, uh, for his resort there. Now, the thing is that he paid about $7 million, but he paid for it within six years. And he barely has 100 rooms. He has about 85 rooms plus common areas. So we're looking at an investment. He invested, you know, uh, seven, $8 million US. He re he's going to recoup his cost in, in, in six years. And of course, after the six year period, his energy costs are down to 10% of what they are now. There's no more well, costs. You take one of these airports in the Caribbean located next to the ocean, most of them are, how much would that cost, what would we, uh, how quickly would they get the return on that investment? It's difficult to put precise figures on it without looking at, uh, at the airport itself, how far we have to go and how deep we have to go. But, you know, we're looking at similar, uh, you know, we're looking at similar figures. We're looking, you know, in the tens of millions, which of course is a fraction of what they would cost them for energy over a 10 year period. So it's not, it's not an outrageous cost. And the thing is that at the end of it, by the time you install this uh, system, you have 90% less energy costs. And we know how much it costs to generate energy in these faraway islands where the cost of bringing in petroleum to feed the generators is enormous and is going higher. Thank you so much, Lele. You're welcome, Charlie. Thank you.